Today we're going to talk about what you can learn from Disney to have better customer service. Oh yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Abby Johnson with Matterhorn Business Development, joined as always by Greg Winteregg, CEO of Matterhorn Business Development, and also my father. Yay. Um, today we are talking about a subject that I am very excited about and love very much, <laughs> which is Disney. But first, before we get started, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. We put three videos out a week about business, hiring, sales, profit first, everything you need to know to run your small business. So today we're gonna to be talking about what you and your employees can learn from Disney when it comes to customer service and also I would say being the best you can be <laughs> on the job and not letting the outside world get to you. So you were lucky enough, I'm so jealous, we need to do this because <laughs> I do. guess I wasn't born yet when you this weren't. happened. You weren't born yet. So it, this was about 30 years ago. Yeah. I was... 34. Okay. <laughs> uh, my wife and I had the opportunity to take a backstage tour at Disney, and it was limited availability. We had won a particular sales contest, and so anyway, it was so cool because it was backstage. Which for Disney is actually underground. Underground. Yeah. They have different levels. I don't remember at least two, maybe three levels underground. Mm -hmm. And that's where all the supporting services take place. And it was called backstage for a very, very specific reason. Walt Disney's viewpoint about the park is you're on stage. Mm -hmm. It's a show. And as a Disney employee, you don't go to human resources to get hired. You go to the casting department. Mm -hmm. So that's the whole field that Disney wanted to and create. And you're a cast member. And you are a cast no member. No matter if you're just picking up trash, serving Starbucks, even if you aren't being a an actual like Disney princess, Enter you are, in, you are a character. Or an entertainer right. who's on stage at the theater yeah. or playing an instrument or whatever. And but backstage is really cool. We went into to the the nursery, and every plant has three replacement plants in the nursery. So if they don't like the way one looks overnight, there's a media wow, switch that's done. Crazy. We got to see all the different areas like frontier land, et cetera, where the, the costumes are. They have their own laundromats and dry cleaning. And it's it's really, really interesting. But here here's the point. As you put on your costume. The doors open as you're a cast member, and the door, when it's closed, says on stage. And as that door opens, there's gray paint on that leads up to that door. You're on the concrete, and when you hit the gray paint, you're in character. Mm -hmm. So if you're Cinderella, as soon as you hit the gray paint, you're no longer yourself. You are Cinderella because you're on stage. Mm -hmm. And when those doors open, they don't want some small child uh, out there seeing Cinderella, Cinderella, I don't know, high-fiving Prince Charming or something mm -hmm. because she wouldn't do that. Mm -hmm. But then here's, to me, here's the point because we talk uh, today about customer service. Treat every customer like they are your best paying customer. And there's all these slogans and there's all these sayings. Mm -hmm. But to me, Disney was genius. Mm -hmm. You're on stage. You're in character. I don't care what happened on the drive-in. I don't mm -hmm. care if somebody cut you off. I don't care if you just had a fight with your mother-in-law. It doesn't matter because right now you're on stage and the customer is the player. Mm -hmm. And so I, you have some stories about what you've observed. Yeah, just being a customer at Disney. We have annual passes, my husband and I, and we love going. And um, it just feels different when you're there. Like, obviously, it's Disney World, so it's magical in general, but just the attitude and environment is a happy one. And I remember uh, one time we were in a Starbucks line that was out the door. Like, they had two... It was insane. And, you know, normally... No offense to Starbucks, but normally if you were in a Starbucks you and you got to the cash register, the employee behind that cash register would be stressed out, um, probably flustered, would probably be short. They're mm -hmm. usually like, okay, thank you. What do you want? Like 
come yeah. on, you know, like you feel like you're inconveniencing them right. um, by having them do their job. So most times when I've been in a line that long at some sort of food place, you don't get the best response. The staff is rattled. But at Disney. And you know it. Yeah, the Disney person literally took their time. You know, I was like, oh, what is this drink like? Like I had a question and she was like, oh, it's like this and it's really great. Do you want that? Yeah, I do. Okay, great. Like the friendliest, like was not even phased that there was a never ending line and that she was going to be taking orders probably her entire shift nonstop. It did not Didn't matter. phase her. And, um, you know, whenever we leave Disney, we always, we are in the Tampa area, so we can just drive home, you know, and we always stop at a gas station to gas up, maybe get a soda for the drive home. And I always have this <laughs> realization when I go to the cash register to pay for my soda. Welcome like, back to the real world. We're not in Kansas anymore. <laughs> like, this is not Disney anymore. It's, you know... Yeah, here you go. Have a good day. You know, it's yeah. it's such a stark difference in customer service the moment you step off the Disney property. So here's the point. As an owner, as a manager, I would tell this story. I would talk to them about how there's no drama. Mm -hmm. there, there's really no drama at work. Mm -hmm. We don't want to hear about your fight with your spouse or your mother-in-law or the guy that cut you off or the Starbucks person you know, you ask for no foam and you got foam and the, all of the, the drama, the water cooler talk, it's not productive and it, it, it just brings people down. Mm -hmm. it, it, then they, that reminds them your conversation about the Starbucks person, then that reminds them about theirs and everybody walks away feeling bad. Yeah, and I and think that is going to come come across over the phone with customer service. You better believe it. Yeah, and also it applies to things that are happening on the job. When you're yes. dealing with an upset customer, you know, maybe they aren't actually upset with you directly and you just need to keep your cool and be caring yeah. and help them through the the issue. So, I think it helps tamper down the outside stuff, but also the internal stuff because mm -hmm. sometimes things go wrong on a job. And you have to keep it together and not trash talk to the customer about all these things that are going wrong. You need to keep it together and, and keep on keeping on. <laughs> exactly. So this is how you're going to create your company culture. This is how you're going to squash out the drama. You're on stage. People are watching. And every employee is a reflection of the company. And as an owner, this is how you can make sure that every employee is always putting their best foot forward with regards to the brand and the image that you're trying to create for your business. Exactly. So let us know in the comments how you're going to use this with your employees and yourself, no matter what industry you're in. We want to hear about it. And make sure you hit subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.